You might have heard that dementia rates are skyrocketing. The World Health Organization is warning of a global dementia epidemic. And that's not wrong. By 2050, the number of people living with dementia is projected to hit nearly 153 million, which is nearly triple today's numbers. But it's not that dementia is suddenly becoming more common in young people. It's that people are living longer and dementia risk naturally increases with age. That's because as we age, the brain shrinks, nerve cells in the brain get damaged and blood vessels in the brain narrow over time, all of which contribute to dementia. So when this graph I showed you earlier was adjusted for the growing aging population, you can see that the growth is actually stable regardless of age. But that doesn't mean dementia is inevitable for you as you get older. And The Lancet recently put out a report that nearly half of all dementia cases are preventable by making some relatively simple lifestyle changes. Things like quitting smoking and alcohol, exercising and lowering cholesterol. But did you know one of the most powerful protectors against dementia is actually education? And there's a wide body of evidence that learning has a protective effect and delays the onset of dementia symptoms. Geriatrician Dr. Elena Mucci explained this to me. It's not just passive brain activity such as reading a book, doing Sudoku, playing Scrabble and so on. We are actually talking about completely new challenging information for the brain, learning. So go to the college, do a new degree, learn a new language. Whatever you want to do, it has to be a brand new information. But I do worry that with AI tools like ChatGPT now doing so much of our daily thinking for us, are we heading towards a future where we're not challenging our brain? brains enough. If we keep offloading cognitive effort, will we actually be fueling dementia rates without realizing it? Comment your thoughts down below and follow for more medical explainers like these.